I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to Tech Talk. I'm in the lab again, and that usually means plasma, if you've seen any of our other uh, videos. Uh, today we're in the lab to talk about uh, one very specific area, and that is preparing elastomers and, and polymers to receive and to hold ink or paint. Um, sounds like a pretty simple process, but the reality is that most plastics and elastomers don't do that well. And so the materials have to be treated in some way um, to not only receive that paint, but to hold it. And we do that using plasma. Um, the nice thing about using plasma over some of the other methods is, again, it's a green process. There's no solvents involved. And with some of these materials, especially in the medical side of the business, it's very, very critical that solvents stay out of the, stay out of the way. So some of the things that we do is we treat uh, things like catheters and syringes um, to receive those ink marks, which are calibration marks, um, showing how far in that catheter is going or how many milliliters of, uh, of medicine is being injected. Um, so it's very critical that these marks stay in place. Um, we can also treat things like silicone rubber. Uh, silicone really doesn't like paint. Um, and one of the large entertainment industries um, has found that uh, they had to get rid of all of their vinyl on some of their animated figures, and so they had to go to silicone. And surprise, surprise, paint doesn't stick to silicone. So uh, using plasma, we can not only detack that silicone, but we can also prepare it to hold paint so that that paint never comes off even with the flexion of those animate, animated um, um, robots. Um, paint decals on uh, thermoplastic elastomers, nylons. There really are no limitations as to what polymers or elastomers can be treated with plasma. The bottom line is that if you really need your paint or your ink to stay in place, and be durable and be flexible and stay there for the long haul, uh, you really need to consider a plasma treatment on those materials. Um, guarantee it will help you maintain much better life on that part and it'll certainly be a much nicer looking part as well. There's no bleed of the ink and uh, again the paint stays very stable and very flexible. That's a real quick hit on plasma and how it affects uh, inking and painting. Uh, if you have some co uh, concerns about this issue, you have some parts that you need to, uh, to maintain a good uh, mark on, whether it be ink or paint, give us a call. Um, you can call me or get in touch with Frank Hild in our plasma department, and we'd be happy to help you go through the process and do some experimentation with your parts and be sure that the treatment that we select matches up not only your your polymer or your elastomer but it also matches the ink or the paint that you're going to use a lot of variations in that side of the market as well so it's very critical that we do kind of a quick study on all of your parameters and we'll be happy to uh, make some recommendations to help make that part uh, much much more valuable part in your product line Thanks again for joining us. I look forward to seeing you again on another Tech Talk.